Hi friends, it's Liz here. So today I have a super fun and quick DIY. Um, I think you're going to love it. I had so much fun putting it together. It takes a little bit to get used to it, but once you get the hang of it, it's super easy to do. I am again using one of my favorite things and that is recycling and repurposing junk mail envelopes. So first I'm going to show you what we're going to make then I'm going to show you how to make one. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to show you just different options that you could use um, for the elements that we're going to be doing here. So, so um, I love that it's a pocket um, that opens up like this. Isn't that super cool? And then you've got a nice large pocket that you can add anything to. So I think I fell in love with this idea. This is not my idea. I will put the name of the channel where I saw this just below here so you can see and um, I followed um, you know the way she did it I kind of tweaked it my way a little bit of course um, so that's what I'm going to show you today so this uh, little pocket here is so cool because it can either be added to a journal um, if you want to know how to make a journal from start to finish, I have a video showing you how to make this one, which I will also link below. So like I said, you can make this into a pocket that you can add to a journal page. So now you've got, depending on how you glue it, you could have like an additional tuck spot, right? And then you've got, of course, your pocket at the top. You can slide anything through it. What I love, love, love about it is um, just how flat it lays so if I wanted to also send this in snail mail I could do that because this flattens down now the back you'll see that it is an envelope um and so like I said I'm going to show you how to make it okay, so to get started um going to grab yourself an envelope and I'm going to use um just these window ones that I get you know there's so many different ones that that you can work with um, to cover the envelope itself and I have shown you how I like to do that to um, to kind of cover the areas that we're using I did use my printable which I will also link below if you're interested and thank you so much for your support those of you that purchased my um, printables it really does help me continue making these videos for you um, okay so to get started I'm just gonna put this one aside we need an envelope and the way I like to have the envelope is to cut the slit on the top. So basically you can see how that's going to um, end up flipping down. So the idea is to cover, you know, the spot at the top because this becomes your flap of your envelope. And then we're just going to cut it. So here I'm just cutting up to the folded line. And we can fix this a little bit later because I will be adding, um, you know, sort of a design to cover these pieces here. Now for my envelope, as you notice here, there's like a little gap between the flip down. So the, the part we are removing. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going to um, just cut it a little bit further down just a maybe like a quarter inch or half an inch I should say and you can just see again it's just eyeballing it so here I think is where I'm going to have my my little cut happening now keep in mind the space that you have between your flap opening and the bottom is where you're going to be adding your design, your your um, your paper punched out item and stuff. So I'm just going to, this one I think worked out so much better because it was like a blank envelope on the inside. So you can kind of see what I'm doing um, a little bit better on that one. However, I'm just going to do that here. And again, this is just like eyeballing. So now you can see um, where this folds is right here. So I've got like a little opening and then I have enough space here to add my butterfly to close my little flap. Okay, hopefully that's making sense. So just putting that aside for now. All right, so I'm going to um, 
just cover up this envelope so that you can probably see a little better. And again, it's just something that I've shown you how to do before, but I'm just going to quickly um, mark this one and put it together. Okay, so I'm just going to be covering up the envelope, um, almost like in a collage style, um, using one of my uh, pages from my printable. Um, and as I mentioned, I will link it below if you're interested. Um, I've also shared, I believe, a couple projects that I've made with um, some of these as well. And you'll find in my shop that um, for most of my printables, I have a project video that I sort of um, make with them. So just to give you some ideas on how you can use some of my pieces, of course, you can use any paper that you have to collage on these envelopes. Um, but I just wanted to kind of use these um, extra printed copies that I have already because I do like to use as much as I can of, um, you know, things that I have on my desk. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is I really do enjoy using junk mail envelopes and I have several videos showing you different things I've made with them. Um, just off the top of my head, I've made like a mini notebook slash journal with some of them. I've got some flip out uh, pockets and some see-through windows that I have added to some of my journal pages. I will link some of those videos below. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoy repurposing junk mail envelopes as much as I do. And if you have seen um, what I've done with them, and if you've got any other suggestions that I may not have thought of, please let me know because I'm always kind of keeping an eye out for, um, you know, how to reuse these. I do get them often. Uh, I am such a visual person that I actually need to get my statement in my hands in order to kind of go through everything. So I do keep getting my um you know my junk mail envelopes and so i do um reuse them as much as i can and this is just another way that i thought would be a nice way to use these ones up um, i like that it's a different style of pocket now i don't know if anyone has done something similar already with the pockets and the way that i'm doing it possibly i'm sure i'm not the only one but um i just wanted to kind of try this version of using the junk mail envelopes um, in order to just you know kind of do something different with them than what I've done before so um, as I continue to just kind of collage on the front here uh, keep in mind that if you are going to be adding this to a journal page then you don't need to cover the back um, but um, you know covering the front as well is just it, it's up to you I mean you could always just spray it with some inks um, you know coffee stain it tea stain it I actually like the crinkle sound that the envelopes make after you have um, sprayed them with either um, you know a stain or you have dyed them in coffee or tea so it's just a nice thing you can always just stamp on them instead of collaging so there are so many options um, on using these junk mail envelopes. Um, and if you don't get junk mail envelopes, I know some people have said that they don't, um, you know, they don't get them. Then of course you can just use any envelope that you have on hand. Um, the actual closure itself that I'm going to show you how to do, you don't necessarily need to just add it to this, um, you know, but it's just, I think it's a nice different way to have a closure for something. Um, you know, d we've tried so many different ways before. I know like I usually enjoy Velcro or tying them um, with strings. Like if they are, um, you know, the coin envelopes where you've got the top and bottom um, kind of circle closure and then you wrap your string around it, you could do that as well. Um, but I do like this new version um, because it's just so fun to put together. And I think it's just, um, you know, extra special if you are sending this in snail mail to a friend, then I think it'd be nice to get something like this. Um, that also reminds me, I do have uh, many playlists. If you are new to my channel and you are not, um, you know, familiar with what I like to make, I have many tutorials, craft with me videos. The latest ones have been the one page wonders. And I've recently started with a two page wonder. So I'm going to be adding to that as well, because I think it's just so fun to, um, you know, use up our pieces that we have and, um, you know, scraps, etc. 
um, if you've got them around. So um, again, just getting back to finishing the flap here. Um, this also reinforces the envelope a little bit. It just gives it a little more strength because we will be adding, um, you know, we kind of will be cutting into it and then adding our, um, our piece that is our paper punch or our um, die cut piece to use as our closure. And like I said before, um, you know, you can use um, whatever you have really. Uh, if it's something that you can sort of bend in half and then kind of close it um, to make the closure for your um, your pocket. So here I'm just finishing gluing the sides because I had kind of cut a little bit into that. And uh, now I'm just going to show you how we add the butterfly and the slit so that we can open this up. Okay, so now we have our um, little punched out but, um, butterfly. Now, this is going to determine the size of your slit that you're going to open. So for my particular butterfly, and I'm just going to show you this way so you can kind of see, I've made a little template for it. You can kind of see that I've left just like an eighth of an inch from the top and the bottom, okay? And my butterfly happens to be, and I don't know if that's going to make a difference for you or not. Um, so let's see, it's... Uh, one and one sixteenth by um, about one inch. Okay, that's the size of my butterfly. But again, I don't know. Um, I'm using my um, butterfly punch from EK Success. Okay, and I've got it on that butterfly. But you can use a heart. You can use whatever design you want. The trick is to measure your design on whatever your template is going to be okay so if i put my butterfly on this piece of paper i want to leave like a like a, a little bit on the top and just a little bit on the bottom and so what i mean by that is you can see here okay that my template is just slightly bigger than my butterfly right if you can kind of see there and that's why this part is a little hard to give you the size but i'm trying to do that if I can and then the size of my little template happens to be um, just past the one six one and one sixteenth okay so because what I want is to make sure that my butterfly um, wings fit through my slit so this will depend on the size of your item of your die cut or paper punch that you are using okay but this makes sure that my butterfly fits right through because of what i want is the wings to go through the opening and i'm going to do it this way so you can see better okay so that's what i wanted to do so i'm going to get my piece of paper that i want to use for um adding to the top and bottom and again this is just me sort of eyeballing it right now i could be very precise with this but i'm just doing this um just to show you, once you make yourself a little template of, you know, the size of your uh, paper punch, then it just gets so much easier. So, and I'm just using a scrap piece that I have left over. And I want this to be like a little substantial because it will basically be what um, is on the front and the back of my, my envelope here. All right, so moving on. And like I said, I will show you at the end um, a different option on how to do this um, if you don't have the tools I'm going to show you. So I did start initially um, with this tool that I picked up because it actually makes the slits, okay? But, um, and also because when I put my piece of paper in there, as you can see, it reaches right to the bottom, so it's easy for me to kind of... Um, make my slits like this and I just sort of moved it along almost to the next edge because again like I said what I want is for my butterfly's wings to fit through and right now they're not fitting through so I would have to make that a little bit bigger just a smidge on either side okay just trying to give this a little bit more room and with this little tool um I will link in the description box below uh, what it's called in case you're interested. But as you can see there, it's just barely getting through my wings. So I'm just going to, again, just 
eyeball that and just make the hole a little bit bigger just a smidge and if you don't have this tool like I said I'm going to show you just what else you could use in another way that that could happen so it's there it's just a slight off so I'm just going to cut off a little bit at the top again and and you can play around with this for you know how like I said how wide um, your um, your paper punch is I know it's hard for you to see what I'm doing here and it almost looks like I'm <clears throat> running out of room okay so again right now that fits right through and that's what you want you want your paper punch or your die cut to fit right through the spot so now that I have that one that's the one I wanted I'm going to take my next piece and then I'm just going to um, draw a line of where the next one is because in this way I have an idea exactly where I want to punch my next one right so I'm not really second guessing so it's basically your first one that you're really guessing with as much as you can um, it's your next one that's going to be a little bit easier to deal with and as you can see because this little tool um, has like the slits that are um, it's kind of hard to see the end there but you know that kind of worked out okay so we've got that done let me um, let me add this let me show you how to add it and then I'll show you how to if you don't have this tool you can use something else and as I always say when I make a tutorial um for all of you I guess it's best to watch it to the end <laughs> just you know in case you have something that you want to use and you don't want to mess it up okay so this is the important part because um we need to add this to our flap right on the front and back but we want to make sure that it's um, you know, maybe in the center. Uh, again, you can measure this if you wanted to be so specific about it, like, you know, where it's supposed to go. I happen to have my little tool that will give me a nice center. So that would be where I want to put my, my little butterfly um, cut out. Okay. So I'm just going to mark it just so that I know where that is. But again, I have to double check down here because I can't go too far up, right? Because you need to make sure that this fits right at the bottom. there. Okay, so let's now, <clears throat> I'm going to now show you how to make that same slit that I was talking about if you don't have that tool that I mentioned, okay? So this is my center. This is what I want to cut out, okay? Use your paper punch or hole punch if you have one. And I guess I'll use it this way so I can see better. And I'm going to just punch out a couple of holes, okay? And that should give me enough space to reach. Now, if you've got the other tool, the one that reaches further in, then that's great. You can use that. Um, but if you don't, then take your scissors and this is where we cut our slit. So you can just kind of see how easy it is to do it with your paper punch. And I am going to say that it doesn't matter too much um, how this looks because we are going to end up covering this up eventually. Okay. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So I'm just trying to clean it up a little bit finished okay so now you see how that's um been left there okay this is where we add our little covers that we made okay so i'm going to start oh before i do that again just want to make sure that my butterfly's wings fit right through okay because i don't want any issues with it so my butterfly fits all right so we take our and see how it just looks all messy there it doesn't matter because we're going to cover it up with our templates okay so there's one there okay I'm going to move it over a little bit 
So I want as much of the opening to be there. And then we're going to um, then we're going to cover up this side. Okay, so again, just adding our glue. And then you can kind of see that that's a little, uh, I, you know, it's kind of twisty. I'm going to try and fix it a bit there. I'll just remove that and start again because we can. We didn't check that beforehand, but here we are. I don't want it to be all like messy there. Okay. So... Now, if I need to clean this up, which I might, um, I could do that, but you can kind of see how that's looking there, right? This is the fun part again. I've got my little butterfly, and what I'm going to do here is make sure that I can bend the wings so I can have the little body like this. So I'm going to attach my body to my... Um, my slit here. Fingers crossed that this works, my friends. Fingers crossed. I don't think I left enough space there for the butterfly to go through. So what you want to make sure that you do is that you make it wide enough and um, I guess tall enough that the um, paper punch shape that you are putting through has enough room to um, open up and um, you know go through your shape properly so maybe this one I could have made it just a little bit wider on the sides and maybe even just a slight little bit longer but this is one of those things that like I said you sort of get to play around with your shape and um, you know use your scraps to test it out on something before you use your good um, paper and then this way you'll kind of get an idea of how it works and how you can put this together um, I'm really loving making the um, the little slits to open up something a little different and I like that it's got the little butterfly as your closure And I just wanted to show you another um, way that you could do this as well using your template same thing right you've got you got your template you line it up you make your marks and then you can go on either side and do your um, your punch and then you know take your scissors and cut through there as well so that's another option and then another thing that I have seen her do and when I was watching her video is she actually rounded her corners so she sort of went around and made sure that she didn't leave the sharp edges mm, I could have rounded that a little better um, so if that's something that you know you think would look nicer on your design obviously cut it up nicer than I did but you can just kind of see how the oval might look a little bit better um, on your on your envelope and then the last thing is you don't really need to add this to the flap you could just leave it open and that's another option as well just make your your opening on the actual flap but you don't need to have this covering it so that's another option as well but I really like um, you know that you can add this to a page it doesn't have to be um, you know the envelope like I could finish these off if I wanted to send them like as flat mail but like I said I might want to use them um, in a journal like as an additional pocket and um, yeah, so I hope that uh, you've enjoyed this year. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up if you like this type of video and or leave a comment. I really do appreciate the comments. The only way I know if you've watched is if you give me a quick hello and let me know you've seen it. So I really appreciate that. Um, and I will be back with another um, video for you very soon. And thanks so much for stopping by.